303 BSA Lee Enfield, uh, 303 bolt action from World War II. And then the German Mauser, the K98, it's got its variant Waffen marks, dated 1937, and uh, an excellent rifle. They all, they, they all uh, carry a deactivation certificate, and it's got its original sling. Show you my Hitler Youth Dagger um, uh, uh, RZM Maker 1939. We've got a very rare Waffen SS belt, and it's uh, the maker is by JFS. Apparently, it's very rare. Uh, we got some uh, snow uh, glasses. And we've got a, a paratrooper gravity knife which is apparently damaged in battle. And uh, then we have an original uh, cape. It's uh, apparently the Splint uh, uh, pattern comes from the World War One battleships. Then we have a German element. Um, I got another a nice nice leather to um, uh, German belt. Uh, I think this is Hitler Youth again. Uh, we've got the K98 uh, cleaning kit. Various um, bits and bobs. This is a, a repo um, paratroopers helmet, but for show sure it's okay. Uh, I have another uh, World War II German helmet which is uh, covered with uh, apparently a, an original uh, splinter pattern camouflage again. Then uh, the uh, grid coat uh, swastika armband. Now these are repo but for show purposes I think they look quite good. And I've got a, this Marsden machine gun. I've also got the original field stand with it. That's deactivated as well. Uh, map case. I think this is another ammo case. It's dated uh, 1941. And uh, a series of different bayonets. Uh, this is a shame with this one. Uh, somebody's knocked the swastika sticker off. But apparently they tell me in this... Uh, the shows you can replace that. Um, right, we have an original uh, pendant. Uh, and uh, we have the German bread bag. Entrenching tool. A Waffen SS uh, Field pack, uh, a tornado, whatever they call it, uh, I'm not quite sure. And mess tins, uh, K98 um, ammo pouch, gas mask, the spare lenses, water bottle. And an excellent pair of boots, which you could still wear today. <laughs> the leather's in excellent shape. And uh, 
then there's this. Um, K98 uh, ammo pouches, a Luger holster, unfortunately there's no Luger in it, a flak badge, wound badge, uh, Knight's Cross first class, it's an original tunic, uh, another bayonet there, and, uh, and the last thing I can show you, which this is in excellent condition, I'd be very interested to uh, to get a little bit better feedback.